Hi, I'm Meg Porteous. I'm with the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library, and I'm here with Shuhan Stallard from 712 Innovations. She's going to tell us a little bit about what a makerspace is. So, Shuhan, I'm curious, um, what is the difference between a makerspace, a co workspace, and an incubator? So, a makerspace, we um, offer machines like for example, we have 3D printer, and we have laser cut machine, and we have uh, computer workstations, and also we have a CNC toolmark machine and a shop bot, which is a wood shop, so which you can get your hands on things. And then a uh, co-work space, which we offer office space, like drop-in tables or um, office spaces, and uh, and conference rooms and the lobby that we're using right now and we are the whole space is a uh, incubator which offers uh, entrepreneur to uh, develop their business. Librarians from the library have we have a desk here and we are here to offer whatever resources we can provide that the library um, can offer small business owners and inventors. Um, but I'm, when I'm here, I see a lot of folks. Can you tell me a little bit about how the um, entrepreneurs use the co-work space? So they use our desk and mm -hmm. uh, use this space as their office. And we have um, Wi-Fi throughout the, this facility. And then also, um, so we have like 3D printer and shopbot machine, they can build a prototype. And then tell me a little bit more about how people use the um, textile and technology workshop. Ooh, textile. Okay. So, uh, so I, when I print those snowflakes, I have to mm -hmm. go to the work computer workstation, which has different uh, softwares. Um, the one I was using was uh, Adobe Illustrator, and we also have AutoCAD and uh, Photoshop and uh, other softwares and then mm -hmm. we program it we and then send it to the laser machine so um, and then the 3d printer is also work the same way we use a computer workstation and then print at the 3d printer right I noticed you also have um, sewing machines and yes. a quilters table yes that we do called? have a quilting machine and uh, we're trying to get um, people to work on those mm -hmm. and to give instructions to me like like me someone mm -hmm. doesn't know how to use it so yeah it's right. really exciting <laughs> yeah what ways are, does 712 work with the community the so community? Um, we work with uh, Topeka Shawnee County Public Library and we offer um, free day pass uh, to the community so they can check out the pass and use this space for free. But um, for right now, they can only access the uh, co-work space because some of our uh, maker space machines needs to be certified on. Also, we uh, we work with Go Topeka. Also, we uh, work with Downtown Topeka because we take um, take part in the uh, downtown events. Why do you think that um, places like 712, maker spaces, co-work spaces, why do you think those are important to a community in general? I think um, because people have ideas and the machine, the facilities are expensive. Yes. So, yeah, and then that um, that's the uh, one of the reasons that we're sure. important because for people who have ideas that does not yeah, cannot right. afford for those expensive facilities, they can come mm -hmm. here, join us as a member, and use our machine. And then also, it's a great place to meet new people and find your coworker, right? Find your partner. Yeah, yeah. Or if you want to start a business and you don't have a partner yet, you can come here. Yeah. We have people have ideas and have skills. So yeah, yeah. I see a lot of people. <laughs> talking people who are from different businesses sharing ideas and talking yes. and just getting excited about each other's things whatever it is that they have right. to be working on. right yeah like Brian Falk and Chris they're like brothers 
uh -huh. sit next to each other and talking about their businesses. So that's great. Yes, yes, it's really good to see our members get along well with each other. <laughs> right. Thank you, Shuhan. No, no problem. Yeah. Glad to do this.